Hey guys, what's up? So we have a new update in Advanced Server and it's patch 1.4.66. First on the chopping board is Grub. His passive skill will disappear faster when moving away from a wall. Here is a comparison of his skill in original and advanced. This is a problem for Grok because his crowd control immunity is based on his passive skill. He becomes immune to crowd control if he's charging his first skill while near a wall. But with this update, it's gonna be a bit harder to do that. We might see a drop in Grok users because crowd control immunity is one of his best features. Next is the nerf on Selena's damage. They've reduced the damage on her traps by 50 points. They also did the same to her first skill in Abyssal form. So a total of 100 damage is reduced from her combo. This is gonna affect her early game potential. Next is the nerf on the red buff's true damage. From 80% down to 60% physical attack bonus for marksmen, mage, and support heroes. They also lowered the buff for assassins, tanks, and fighters from 50% down to 40%. And since marksman always takes the red buff, it's another nerf for all of them. Next is the nerf on Link's heal when using his second skill. It now only gives one heal even if you hit multiple targets. Previously, the number of heal depends on the number of targets hit. Next is the damage nerf on Valor's first skill. They made the early level damage weaker by 25 points. Damage is still the same at max level. Nerf on Atlas. His passive skill now gives lesser defense stats. From 64 to 120, down to 45 to 80. That's a big nerf on his durability. His second skill now deals more damage, but they've reduced the stun duration from 1.2 down to 1 second. Next is the removal of 25% movement speed bonus when Carmilla uses her first skill. It will be harder to come near an enemy with this update. Buff on Masha. She gains 20 points of extra damage when her first skill is active. Buff on Hanzo. They've removed the feature that they added last week where his first skill is unlocked when getting kills in ghost form. You can now use spells except for Flicker when using his second skill just like this. Buff on Chang E. They increased her magic power bonus on her first skill from 80% to now 120%. They renamed the new hero Yi to Luo Yi. New profile animation, but it still has no sound. Several adjustments on her skills, which are mostly buff, and her ultimate no longer costs mana. Popol and Koopa is probably the next hero to be released since we already know that Luo Yi's release date is on May 16. More adjustments on Popol and Koopa's HP, damage, and traps. And you can now see the range of Koopa. New skill indicators for Johnson, Goshen, Harriet, Helkert, and Grok. Reduced price on these roam items. Wooden mask price is still the same. Finally, some good news for tanks and supports. New emotes from different events. It seems Exborg will be the Starlight skin for June, while Granger is for May because of these emotes. Giniverse Epic Skin Lady Crane will be available on April 6 and it's gonna be on everyone's favorite box. Belleric's special skin, the Deep One, will be available on April 8. It also comes with a painted version called Deep Reef. For those who missed getting Leslie's legendary skin, you still have a chance because her angelic event will be back again soon.
they adjusted on how you gain MMR. The higher your rank is, the more MMR you can gain. This is a move to stop those top hero globals from farming MMR in the lower ranks. They do this by intentionally losing with a different hero so that they stay in low rank. There is also now a limit when you're in legend rank or below. This means you need to rank up if you want to gain more hero power or MMR. Last one is the addition of titles when in a squad. So what can you say about this update? Do you like the move they made against MMR farmers? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. That's all for this video. Stay safe and thank you for watching.